Hello everybody and welcome to Mr. Stansfield's education videos. Today we're going to be taking a look at how to set your desktop background on a Mac using Google Chrome as your browser and doing it in a way that for whatever reason um, there are lots of actual ways to do this but for whatever reason this is the way that we found in our computer labs to set our Google I'm sorry to set our desktop background in a way where it actually stays um, where sometimes um, we set our desktop background and then it like goes away the next time we log in. So um, I'm going to search for a place that I want to travel in the world and I'm going to go ahead and just type in New Zealand. And there we go. I'm just going to type it into a Google search and I'm going to go to images. Okay. So um, there's a couple of things. If I'm, if I'm looking for a photo for my desktop background and I want it to look good, and not look pixelated. I'm going to choose tools and then I'm going to go to size and then large. And this is going to give me photos that are suitable to be used on a desktop background. Um, if I didn't do that, I could have picked a photo that's too small and it'll look kind of janky and pixelated. Um, so the other thing to consider here is that the size of your desktop. So maybe this photo here, which looks pretty cool, it's like too wide probably for this desktop that I'm using. Same with this picture right here. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and pick this picture. I kind of like the leading lines of this road and the way that there's some depth in the photo. And so I'm going to pick this photo here for my desktop background. I'm going to right click this photo and to right click on a Mac, I hold the control key down and then click once with the mouse. That's like right clicking, um, control click. I'm going to go here to save image as, and this is where things might get a little tricky. My screen looks probably different than what your screen is going to look like. Your screen is probably going to look like this. It's going to say save as. It's probably going to say downloads folder right here. And um, we want to put it in a different place. And we want to kind of navigate to that place using this little down arrow right here. Put this little down arrow. It gives me some options. If I go to the downloads folder, if I have the downloads folder selected over here, you see that the favorites, I don't have pictures for whatever reason, it's not there. And that's actually where I want to save it. So what I can do is click on the downloads folder up here and then actually go back and select Stancefield. Um, your account will be your account name, so it won't be Stancefield, but you'll see this little home icon, the little house icon next to your name. And then you can choose pictures. Okay, and then you can just go ahead and click save. So find the pictures folder on your computer and save your picture there. Once it's saved, we can just close this or minimize this Chrome window here. And we're going to go to the system preferences. And we're going to do that by going up to the upper left hand corner, clicking on the Apple, and then going to system preferences. Once system preferences is open, we're going to go to the system preferences uh, menu for the desktop and screensaver. And we're going to click on that, which is the second icon in, in the upper left hand corner. Once we have that selected, we're going to click on folders and then pictures. And then you can see here, here is the picture that I wanted to use from New Zealand for my desktop background. We want to make sure that fill screen is selected and then we can just close that and that's it. That's how you're going to set your desktop background. The reason we have to do kind of maybe more than you would maybe from Safari or downloading it to the desktop is again because we want it to be in the pictures folder because we want that photo to be there the next time we log in and we had some trouble with that with previous um, students like putting it on the desktop or putting it from Safari setting the desktop background from there so that's it